So the country of Georgia allows you unique opportunity if you're a freelancer, digital nomad, or any remote worker, actually. Uh, they allow you to open a company here, which is called Individual Entrepreneur, and pay just 1% tax on your income. And I had recently go through this procedure of opening a company. So guys, I will just share my experience. I will just tell you how I opened the company and which taxes I pay and also what I found on the internet. Just remember, I'm not a tax advisor or a lawyer. So if your case are different or you want to ask some legal questions, you would better ask uh, real professionals, not just the guy on the internet. So let's figure out what type of uh, companies you can open here and uh, which one it benefits for uh, freelancers. So first one is individual entrepreneur. It's uh, kind of one main company. You can hire people in it, but usually it's just uh, freelancers, digital nomads, remote workers open this type of company. And this company has uh, several tax regimes. First one is called micro business and it allows you to pay zero income tax but unfortunately the annual turnover should be below 30,000 lari per year which is quite small usually for remote workers especially who work for foreign companies the next tax regime is uh, suits better uh, which is small business small business allow you to pay just one percent tax on your income and your annual turnover should be 30,000 lari until 500,000. When you exceed 500,000, you will be taxed 3% on everything above this number. Another tax you should pay when you have an individual entrepreneur is VAT, which is 18%. After 100,000 lari per year, everything will be taxed by VAT. But there is always a but in the tax law. You will not need to charge VAT on any product or services you supply to the foreign businesses. Which means if you work for a foreign company, for example as a freelancer or your clients abroad or you sell any products to your abroad foreign businesses, uh, you don't need to charge VAT them and hence you won't be paying VAT here as well. I know there are some people have been asking uh, questions on the internet. I've seen uh, if you should stay here in Georgia for six months to become a tax resident and to be able to open a company here. Uh, no, it's not the case. At least I didn't have this experience. I opened the company without uh, needing to stay here for six months. I just opened it in my second month here and same goes with a bank account. So no, you don't need to stay here for six months to open a company. Another type of the company you can open here is LLC. And this is a whole different story. I didn't research much about this area because individual entrepreneur is good enough for me, for my cases, for freelancing. But I know there is a great opportunity for information technology type of companies to open here which is called virtual zone which means you can open a company here and work in IT and pay zero VAT and also zero corporate tax. The only tax you will be paid is 5% dividend tax and 20% income tax for your employees if you're gonna hire employees. This is a great opportunity but you better research it yourself uh, in a detailed way or consult with a professional. So let's start with how to open the company. First of all you need to open a bank account. There are two big banks here which is most popular among expats is TBC and Bank of Georgia. We picked TBC and it cost us just five lari per month for a plastic card and also they opened the account for us uh, th in three currencies. We have a US dollars uh, account, euro account and Georgian lari account which is really convenient. Opening a bank account isn't actually a requirement but I think it just makes so much things easier but you can uh, remain your bank account if you already uh, getting money on it for example and you can attach it to your company here in Georgia. To open a company you need to go to public city hall. If you've already been in Belize, it's this beautiful with lift on the roof a building in the center of the city. All the bureaucratic stuff uh, happens there uh, for Georgian and for foreigners as well. So you need to go there with your passport. There is pretty important requirement. You need to have a legal address here in Georgia. Uh, for example, if you don't have a, you don't own the apartment, you need to ask your landlord, give you a permission to open a company on this address. Uh, for example, in our case, our landlord just go with us and uh, 
he will uh, give his document and he said that he gives his permission to open the company on this address. Usually, as far as I understand, most of the landlords, uh, they are aware of this thing because many foreigners come here and opening a company, so they kind of okay with it, uh, but you never know, so you'd better ask your landlord about this. The standard fee for opening a company is 25 lari and your company will be opened in the next day. Uh, you also can pay more, I don't really remember how much, around 30 or maybe 50 and uh, your company opened, will be opened in the same day, so it's kind of like urgent fee. The whole procedure took us around 50 to 20 minutes. Uh, I guess it was a little bit faster because our landlord was with us and he was speaking Georgian with all the stuff in there. But I think even if you're a foreigner, it will maybe took 30 minutes. But you remember you need to sign up online to a certain time and come to that time. And afterwards, it takes around 20 minutes. You also need a local SIM card to get the SMS from public city hall. So just buy one in the, for example, Makti Telecom office. After you open the company and you get all the documents right there in public service, and the next day they will email you uh, that the company is established and all the documents you need. You also can check the information about your company in the register online. Uh, you can just put your name and you will find all the information that your company exists. Afterwards, you need to go to revenue service to set the tax regime that I was talking about earlier. Usually, as I said, you will pick the small business regime for this 1% income tax. To do that, you will go to revenue service, you will bring all the documents about your company which you get in the public city hall and you also need to pay fee there, which is around 21 lari, I think. Afterwards, you need to wait until the end of the month, because the new tax regime is only uh, start working at the first day of the next month. So you'd better not to get any income until that, because in that case, you will be taxed 20%, which is standard income tax uh, in Georgia. And that's probably it. Uh, that's my experience. If you have any question, you can ask them as usual in the comments. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to tell you is how to pay taxes. They all paid online. Uh, so let's go back to my laptop from this beautiful location and I will show you how I do it. So guys, uh, here it is. This is a web website where you should uh, do the declarations. It's eservices.rs.g. I will put the link in the description. If it's going to be in Georgian for you for the first time, you can find here uh, English version. It will become uh, partly Georgian, partly English. Uh, so you maybe still need a translator sometimes. You can go here and search for declarations. Go inside declarations. If your tax regime is a small business, you will pick the monthly part and the small business annual income declaration menu. Here is everything quite simple. You will pick the period. You see the December. Uh, I didn't have any declarations yet. If you're uh, doing the declaration for December, you're going to send it in January. The last day to send it, it's on 14 of the next month. So here we choose the next re new return, for example, uh, this message sent that I'm uh, submitting declaration too early, uh, but still can get in. Two uh, fields you need to fill. First one is income of small business from the beginning of calendar year with increased sum. So here you put all the money you earned uh, since the beginning of the calendar year. And the second one is taxable income subject to small business taxation corresponding with the reporting months. So here you put the number you earned this month. All the numbers should be in Georgian Lari. I will put in the description the link where you can uh, exchange rates. It's on official rates. Uh, this is a government website. And after you fill both of these forms, here you will see your uh, tax amount. This tax amount you will uh, have to pay via your banking. Mm. Here you can click next and send afterwards. So that's it. That's it with, with the declaration. So here is the website of TBC Online Banking. Uh, you can also probably have the same interface in Bank of Georgia or any, any other banks. You also can pay taxes via mobile application. Record the screen is just easier for me. So let's go through here. So first of all, you need to go to transfers and uh, pick to treasury menu. Here you will pick the account from which you're gonna pay taxes. So next you need to pick the who you're gonna pay taxes for. I already have a template but you only will see this new tax payment. Uh, you will sh you should pick a treasury transfer for other 
then you need to fill the taxpayer name in Georgian. It's not that hard because you, in your document of tax regime you will have this uh, Georgian version of your name. Or you can just find a, a translation tool online, any translation will do it for you. Uh, also, you need to pick taxpayer code here. Uh, this taxpayer code you can also find either on uh, this previous website I'll show you your services, all your documents, so it's basically the code of your individual entrepreneur company. Here you should fill treasury code. You can also assemble code. It's quite easy because you need to pick the first one and then there is only one option. So here's the code. You can just fill it as it is or assemble it as I said and uh, that's probably it you will uh, click the continue next and you will fill the amount of which you're gonna pay uh, in Georgian Laris which you get on the previous website uh, from the declaration that's it for today I hope you liked this video and it was helpful give me a thumbs up if it is uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye